and now you need me, and I'm broke. You want a tattoo? A little one. Now that I can do. Listen, Grammy, you better watch yourself. Give us the money. Get out of my home, you crazy old. Oh my God. You know, I liked your boyfriend. He's special, really charismatic. And that was just a bit from Grandma, the new film starring Lily Tomlin and Julia Garner, written and directed by Paul Weitz, who also directed the movies American Pie and About a Boy, among others. And he joins us now. Paul, it's such a pleasure to have you oh, here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. In this film, Lily Tomlin plays a firecracker of a grandmother. <laughs> well, she actually is a firecracker in real life. And is I wouldn't she? be surprised if she'd be able to go out and do the vault and uh, uh, score reasonably well. Right. Um, yeah, she, she plays a grandmother. Her granddaughter really needs this grandmother's help to figure out how to stand up for herself. And on her part, uh, during the course of this movie, the granddaughter is sort of uh, cobbling, uh, bringing back together Lily with her daughter, who's played by Marsha Gay Harden. And uh, uh, the two of them kind of are learning from each other. It's such a wonderful story about three generations of women. How did you come up with this story? Um, well, it's very weird because was, uh, Sam Elliott has a very substantial part in the movie. Um, but as you can see, Nat Wolf, who's in Paper Towns, plays a baby daddy who's not sort of a particularly good representative of the male <laughs> of, 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 the, of the species. Um, but uh, I'd done a film with Lily uh, called A Mission, where she played Tina Fey's mom, and her voice was really in my head. And A, I wanted to hang out with her a lot more. <laughs> this would be oh, a good excuse. It, right? <laughs> yeah, she is so cool. Um, uh, and, and then B, I sat down to write this thing, and her voice was in my head, so I just wrote it for her. So you basically wrote this for her. There was never yeah. anyone else considered for the role. No, there wasn't. So well, I thank been, goodness she was available, right? You're telling me. And <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know. I really would have been in trouble if she well, hadn't done it. It's fascinating because I was reading up on it. This is her first leading role in 27 years. Yeah, I know. Incredible. I, know. I mean, we've, we've missed her on the big screen. And the these, the characters are so wonderful. They're so Thank complex. You these roles for female actresses that we don't see so much in Hollywood. Yeah. Was that in the back of your mind, creating an interesting movie for women? It was, and especially the idea that I felt like Lily um, had so much to offer and so much energy and so much wit and edge uh, that uh, I really felt like she was underserved, that I wanted to do something where she was the lead, and that would be sort of a, a cool punk rock thing to do. And the thing about people in their 70s now is they grew up uh, in the 60s and, yeah. and through this era of like cultural foment and and oftentimes can be um, much more edgy than an 18-year-old. That was absolutely apparent in the film. It was so interesting. She is a gay poet coping with the loss of her longtime partner, mm -hmm. helping her 18-year-old granddaughter try to figure out where she's going to raise the money for an abortion. Yeah. Fascinating day trip they have. Yeah, and there. also, I mean, in terms of, you know, the, the, the movie is about sort of personal um, personal growth, essentially, and like movies like Kramer vs. Kramer, The Graduate, it's a set in something, and in in a, it's talking about cultural change, but only through the aspect of this story between these people. Yeah. And um, it doesn't make light of anything in terms no. of, you know, I don't want to give away what happens in the movie, but in terms of that issue of the, of the granddaughter being pregnant and not and trying to figure out what to do there's a point where Lily says to her look have you thought about this because it's something that you'll think about at some point every day for the rest of your life I'm not trying to make light of anything no. and at the same time uh, you know I was kind of it was great when I played at Sundance in front of an audience of 1200 people and I realized that it was playing flat out in some ways like a comedy like American Pie or about a boy very different in, in subject subject matter but because of Lily being so funny it works as a comedy it was fantastic it was such a great balance between the comedy and the, the serious notes that it had to hit a real choices that people have to make in their lives and how these choices resonate your entire life. No question. It's also very easy, I think, to dehumanize the people who are involved in, in things that are sort of cultural flashpoints um, and to forget, oh, these are actual people who are, you know, um, who, uh, no matter what, um, are, you know, you don't want to reduce them. One of my favorite scenes was the scene between Lily Tomlin and her old-time boyfriend. Yes, oh. played by Sam Elliott. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful scene. That was really time. exciting. And you, you sort of learned in the course of this that they had lived together on a boat when they were both 21, and Lily had left in the middle of the night for various reasons. And this guy who's since had been married four times, has 11 grandkids, he's still holding a flame for her. Yes. And, and uh, basically, it's as if they're taken back to when they were 21 years old and have this fight that they should have had when they were that age. I love how he, sends the, how he said, the older I get, the more my yeah. memories bubble up to the surface, yeah, yeah. right? The more bad stuff bubbles up. The more <laughs> we have all that to look forward to, right, yeah. Paul? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Congratulations on making such a beautiful film. Cool. I really appreciate it. Thanks thank so you so much.